Hello guys, we are at week 20. Um, we were doing the oceanfront painting last week. And okay, let's start off with Aiden's. Um, okay, someone did his water way, um, this guy way too wet. So I would suggest, yeah, next time we can use a little bit less water because our paper is really thin. Uh, I didn't want to waste the dark, um, the thick ones. So we were just doing on the thick, um, the, the thin paper, the mixed media paper. So, okay. I would, yeah, because Aiden, um, he spent a lot of time with the sky. So I think by the time it was kind of like too dry. So anyways, I would suggest next time um, we want to make sure this line is very obvious. But um, and I think pretty much that's it. But overall, I think Aiden did a very nice job. Um, he did the waves. He did his mountains so and everything the color looks fine i would hope um these are a little bit more difficult because sometimes you don't have the really thin brushes like these those wore out faster but um with these um yeah smaller lines will help and if you don't have skinny lines you guys can figure out what other ways can you make skinny lines okay so that would be something creative for you guys to think about so overall aiden very nice job i love this one okay let me move on to lillian's so i think i think lillian did this on the watercolor paper because there's more texture like right here so these are all textures and um, it would be harder to do on this paper if she was doing it on watercolor paper because they have a lot of holes and they're just in general like harder to paint with. They're not smooth. But this one's overall very nice. I like the colors. Um, I would hope the yellow would be less yellowish because we want the white sand, like the really, really pale sand. Um, I would have hope these... I mean, the sky should have something more interesting in the background, maybe more clouds. But I think she spent a lot of time um, trying to figure out how to work with the watercolor paper. And oh, I see some splashes here. And I think these are very nice rocks. So very nice. Um, but I don't see any waves. <laughs> no, but. Yeah, this is pretty much pretty good already. So, Lillian, very nice. Okay, all right, and then let's move on to Andrea's. So Andrea's um, did this one. Hers is the in-person class. Um, so she was following all the steps that I asked her to do, and we we did check her work. But so this one's very very pretty. I I've. I'm really happy how it turned out and she did a very nice job with the colors and all these grass so very very cool I love this one and this one's Cowley's Ooh. okay so Cowley's has a lot of imagination going on with this one so she has like this um, trail of bridge I no, think she has a train track yeah, I, I asked her if that's a train track. She told me that this is supposed to be a bridge, if I remember it correct. Um, and my only complaint were to ask her, like, um, I was telling everybody we need to level the ocean, please. And this ocean is not really level. It looks like kind of like earth, like, earth-wise ocean that is kind of like curve like that so that would be my only only suggestion to her is to try to make your ocean level by um making sure you have a brush and you go sideways like this 
So your brush goes sideways, and that's how you make it leveled. And otherwise, this one looks very nice. I like the color she has. The waves are fine. Um, I think she got the waves a little bit dirty here because the ground was probably a little bit dark. And the pink stone is very nice. Uh, she said there is a sign that she wanted people to know. And I read it danger ahead with the skeleton sign. <laughs> So this one's really cute. I think she has a lot of imagination in this one. And she's very brave to try it out. So I like it. And I also really, really like what she did with the mountains. There's darker tones and there's lighter tones, which look very nice. Very, very um, aesthetically pleasing. So very nice. Okay, my other complaint, my other complaint would be about this one why is it slanted cali okay so i would assume the poles are straight okay so that's my suggestion and yeah um she definitely needs to practice on the waves a little bit more to make it skinnier but overall it looks good i like it it's just very very unique okay so this one's really really nice too this one's charlotte's so this one's very fancy i'm not sure how much her mom helped her with this one but overall it looks pretty perfect um only my other suggestion would be about this one as well like this is supposed to be level or maybe it's level but when she took a picture it's not like flat that's why it's kind of curving I, uh, yeah, that's my guess. And the grass looks fantastic. And she did all these with tiny little, um, tiny little, like, uh, dots. Like, uh, not. So, it looks very nice. I love this one. And I love the grass as well. So, something simple and just a good way to practice our oceans. Okay, so this one's India's. Uh, she, I'm taking picture of her online. So, and she has a crab here. I think she's probably the only person who has a crab here. And they're kind of hiding in between the pu uh, bushes. But I love this boat. This boat is kind of like in the middle of the sea. And there's a brown stem. And then there's the white things right here. So, very nice. Um, I wish I could see more details from the screenshot, but this is so far. I mean, so far I only see this one, and yeah, looks pretty good to me. Very nice. Okay, then next one is Justin's. So Justin wanted me to show his, and I asked him, "What do you want on the in the mountain?" He said he wanted snow. And then he started making a lot of dots. I was very confused. I was like, um, what is that? He said, oh, it's a snowstorm. Snowstorm? When there's a snowstorm, there's a lot of dots in the air. And then I was like, oh, okay. Mm, okay, that makes sense. Okay. And then um, he started doing the, the boats. And then I asked him, please do not paint the boat at five years old. He's just not going to make a nice job. So... I told him he can use Sharpie, so after it's dry, okay, so after it's dry. So he pretty much did this all by himself. Um, looks pretty good. The third one and the second one, the third one did not look as good as the first one, so. Um, they just, at this at that age, they just overdo things. Um, this one's Kaitens. Ooh, okay, so Kaitens. It's doing pretty cool. Um, I think this one in general looks very nice. And um, at his age, I think it looks okay. I think he still needs a little bit more time to explore how to use the brush to make it not so fuzzy versus fuzzy. So there's a lot of things we need to um, get used to or kind of figure out so so okay i'm going to speed this up so katen very nice and i love your tone of ocean 
and the cloud as well. I think they did a very nice job. Okay, so this one is Mia's. I think Mia is going for that um like a sad looking sky with the sunset looking cloud. So I think overall this one is pretty. Um again I am assuming this one needs to be leveled like this and then a um, little bit more more over here so that's what I'm assuming and the ocean yeah she needs more practice and these definitely need more layer of paint so but overall I think it looks okay um these needs to be scattered more like in different direction Mommy, and it's kind of transparent okay hold on so very nice mia um more practice on the waves i think she spent a lot of time with the colors yeah, okay let's see renato's <gasps> wow so renato is doing his Hurricane looking like ocean. Oh, uh -uh. this one's pretty like, um, let's say stylized. And I think it's kind of gloomy. I was hoping it could be a little bit more happier, like a brighter sky. But overall, I think it's okay. I think he had fine mixing colors and stuff. Um, definitely these, these definitely look very nice. So over here looks good. And all the colors here are amazing. Wow, look at all these colors. So very good. He kept all the pretty colors that I asked people to keep. Um, the ocean needs to be level, as I said. Again, all of you guys. The ocean needs to be level. <laughs> level! <laughs> Okay, level means we're kind of like flat. The water will be flat on the ground. Same thing with the ocean. So, okay. Oh, and he did another one. Hmm. Okay, so I think he started with this one and then he went to the other one. But I like this one's sky a little bit more. There's more distinction between the sky and the water. This one is kind of reminds me like of those chaotic um stormy weather which is fine too i like this one uh, i like the color for that one but i also like the calmness for this one i think it's just the sun just not that complete okay so overall i like both of them so sarah's sarah's looks pretty cool um so these i think she was doing like this and like that and I was hoping there could be more white here. So mm, overall, I think it's okay. Um, the ocean needs to be darker, so there's a separation between the two colors. Just letting you know, Sarah. And um, yeah, uh, I was hoping the water could be a little bit lighter towards the sand, and the sand could be a little bit lighter with more white. Okay. But uh, I think a lot of people were on holiday mood on Friday and they just didn't <gasps> do a lot of things. Okay, so this one's Vera's. So Vera wanted to do something very special. I'm all for it. She is free to do a lot of the things that she wants, which the sky is amazing. I like the sky. I, I think that she is just, yeah, all for it. So I love this one as well. Um, the ocean didn't it didn't really match what I had intended, and the sand is a little bit too dark. I think it's from the photo. Um, it's the like the the lighting issue. So overall, I think this is nice. Um, the crab could be a little bit redder, but she wanted a pink crab. So, okay. And then okay. So last but not least, I want to show you guys Henderson's. Um, he wanted to try something completely different um, because he was already in the 
oceanfront class, and then we were doing the bird on the in-person class. So I wanted to show you guys this one. It's kind of cute. I think he did a very nice job. Uh, we layered a lot of colors in the background first. So we did not do the bird first. We did the bird last. And this one just looks very, very nice with all these colors. Yeah. So very, very pretty. I'm super. I think Henderson's very, very good with um colors, and he's very attentive to detail. So, all right, that's it, you guys. I will not see you. Um, I will not see you in the summer, but I might see some of you guys. So bye.